This is a special edition of Charles Benenhoff YouTube channel. As the founder of the Incorporated Christian Church, pray for us, pray for the United States. Charles is today invoking the biblical admonition to pray for your country's leaders. Please follow Charles in prayer today for our attorney general, Jeff Sessions. Hello, this is Charles Benninghoff, and today I have a special prayer for our attorney general, Jeff Sessions. The Washington Post says, and I quote, Jeff Sessions is in deep trouble, bigly. That's B-I-G-L-Y. I'm not too used to that word, but the Washington Post uses it, so it's got to be okay, right? Well, the CBS Evening News says, could Attorney General Jeff Sessions face legal trouble? Close quote. And so it goes across this great land in the media, the mainstream media, a lot of people call it, and I refer to it as such myself a lot. And I ask myself, why is Jeff Sessions in trouble? Well, I think Jeff Sessions in, is in trouble because he has relied upon his old cronies from the Senate, all politicians. He's known some of them for 20 years or more, and he worked with them every day. But we need to pray for Jeff Sessions that he doesn't look to his fellow politicians for help, but he looks to his creator. He looks to the Lord and instead follows the Lord's advice and not the advice of the people who are his competitors now that he's attorney general. You know, our Bible calls for all Christians to pray for our leaders. And one of the things that is very, very important is that Christians are among the few people in the world who actually do pray for their leaders. For example, in Timothy 2, 1 and 2, it's stated, I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings, and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. You know, that's a beautiful statement. We don't need to pray for just each other. We need to pray for those people who are in power, whether they're kings or whether they're presidents, whoever they are. If they have power, it must have come from our Creator. If they have power wrongfully, our Creator will take it away from them eventually. And so I turn now to Chronicles 2, verses 7 through 14. It states, If my people who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin, and I will heal their land." Close quote. Two Chronicles applies to Christians particularly. They're referred to my people. And this verse is what we moved me to found, pray for us, pray for the United States. We are a Christian Church, an incorporated church in the state of Nevada. We're a free church. We don't kowtow to what the IRS wants. We never preached what the IRS wants in the first place. We never applied to them for permission to organize. They're outside the realm of Christ. And it's perfectly okay to be a free church in this great country, at least for now. And so what I want to do is I want to bring you to prayer for Jeff Sessions today, so that he can be guided and be the recipient of a nationwide effort to pray for him. Thus, we come to our prayer for Jeff Sessions today, to which you can find a link in the text section below, and you can find it also in this screen in a bit. In the text session on the YouTube video, just look below the video and you'll see text, and we'll put this link there at first so you can find it at a later date. Just remember, pray for Jeff Sessions. So here we go. Maybe you should say this twice. Maybe you should share it with your friends and say it in groups. And I begin, O oh Lord, I do believe in the power of prayer and that prayer can answer many callings. O oh Lord, let Attorney General Sessions see light from dark. Let him know his strength comes from you and not making deals with his buddies of decades, that his interest is in serving your calling and not body politics that he look up to you for guidance and not to his contemporaries, 
that in all things you shine your light upon his soul and you guide him in these mysterious ways so well known to you to bring this country, a country created in your everlasting guidance, into new, bright, sun-filled mornings. Amen. Thank you very much for your support over the years. We started our church in 2009, and we've grown consistently with your help and your following. And with your help and your following, we look to more challenges over the years, and we look to those challenges to be answered by referring to our Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ, our Maker and our Savior. This is Charles Benninghoff signing off.